Hello kids, welcome to today's best class and today we'll do measurement. Let's revisit. Think and choose the most suitable length for the following. First one is a sharpener, so small length, so we'll measure it in centimeter. So 2 centimeter is correct answer. Clear? Next, think and choose the most suitable weight, gram or kilogram for the following. Here the doggy. It could be 20 kg. So that is the correct option. Clear? Which hold more? A water bottle or a bucket? Obviously, bucket. So bucket is the correct option. Clear? Next, think and choose the most suitable unit of capacity, liter or milliliter below. So here, the oil, liter. Clear? Next is metric measure. Before the invention of the standard unit of length, we measure the length with the span of hand, pace and arm length or called cubit or the side etc. So, jab tak standard unit convention nahi wata, generally we use our body part to measure the thing like hand span, foot, pace like this clear but they cannot give accurate measurement so please use the metric system the system of unit which is commonly used to measure the length weight and volume is called the metric system we use different units hum iske liye alag alag units use karte hain to measure the length weight and the volume of things. Length is measured in term of kilometer, meter and centimeters. Similarly, weight is measured in term of kilogram, gram and centigram. A liquid capacity is measured in term of liter and milliliter. The standard abbreviation used in metric system are given below. So, meter is to measure length, gram is to measure weight and liter to measure capacity of liquid. Clear? Look at the following here. The units are divided according to the decimal system. Unit used to measure length and height. So here, 10 millimeter mm, millimeter go. That is equals to 1 centimeter. 10 centimeter, that is equals to 1 decimeter. 10 decimeter, that is equals to 1 meter. 10 meter, that is equals to 1 decameter. 10 decameter that is equals to 1 hectometer and 10 hectometer that is equals to 1 kilometer. Clear? Unit used to measure weight. Weight 10 milligram that is equals to 1 centigram. 10 centigram that is equals to 1 decigram. 10 decigram that is equals to 1 gram. 10 gram equals to 1 decagram. 10 decagram equals to 1 hectogram, 10 hectogram that is equals to 1 kilogram. Next is unit used to measure capacity. 10 millimeter that is equals to 1 centiliter, 10 centiliter that is equals to 1 deciliter, 10 deciliter equals to 1 liter, 10 liter equals to 1 decaliter, 10 decaliter equals to 1 hectoliter and 10 hectoliter that is equals to 1 kiloliter. Clear? Next, measurement of length. We measure smaller object using the smaller unit which is centimeter and the long distance using a bigger unit which is kilometer. The most commonly used metric measure of the length is millimeter, centimeter and meter and kilometer. We know 1 kilometer that is equals to 1000 meter, 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter. Take a look at the ruler. Each centimeter is divided into 10 smaller unit. Each of these smaller unit is called millimeter. Here, look at this ruler. Here, the ruler is divided into centimeter. 1 centimeter, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. 
so in each between each centimeter that is divided into 10 smaller part so each represent 1 millimeter so total distance between each centimeter is that is equals to 10 millimeter clear take a look at the ruler each centimeter is divided into 10 smaller unit each unit is smaller unit called millimeter 1 centimeter equals to 10 millimeter millimeter is the smallest unit of measuring length next is conversion of unit how will you convert bigger unit to smaller unit clear to interchange the bigger unit smaller unit we multiply so bigger unit ko smaller unit mein convert karne ke liye we will multiply kilometer to meter we multiply by 1000 as we know 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meter so 6 kilometer equals to 6 into 1000 6000 meter now meter to centimeter as we know 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter so multiply by 100 9 meter equals to 900 centimeter next is decimeter to centimeter so for that we'll multiply by 10 so 17 decimeter equals to 17 to 10 that is 170 centimeter clear next centimeter to millimeter so for that we'll multiply by 10 so 8 into 10 that is 80 millimeter next meter to decimeter for that we'll multiply by 10 so 11 meter equals to 110 decimeter this is how we'll convert bigger unit into smaller unit next is smaller unit to bigger unit to change a smaller unit into bigger unit we'll divide for example here we have to convert millimeter to centimeter so we'll divide by 10 60 millimeter equals to 60 divided by 10 that is 6 centimeter when we divide by 10 the last digit form the remainder clear next is centimeter to meter for that we'll divide by 100 so 528 centimeter equals to 5 meter 28 centimeter next is meter to kilometer for that we'll divide by 1000 so 8000 meter equals to 8 kilometer clear when we divide by 100 the last two digit form the remainder when we divide by 1000 the last three digit make the remainder next is practice corner 12.1 change to centimeter 3 meter as we know 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter so 3 meter equals to 300 centimeter clear so practice all the questions of this exercise next is measurement of weight milligram gram and kilogram are the unit of mass v by rice sugar vegetable etc in the gram kilogram whereas the weight of smaller object such as medicine tablets is expressed in milligram the vegetable and fruit vendor use the beam balance or weighing balance however nowadays the electronic weighing machines are also quite popular in supermarket and bigger store so here are some weights 100 gram 200 gram 500 gram 1 kg 2 kg 5 kg 10 kg and 20 kg clear we commonly used unit are kg gram and milligram 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram and 1 gram equals to 1000 milligram next is conversion of units from bigger unit to smaller unit to change the bigger unit to smaller unit we multiply like here we have to convert kilogram to gram for that we'll multiply by 1000 so 4 kg equals to 4 into 1000 that is 4000 gram clear 1 kg 15 gram that is equals to 115 gram no that is not correct because 1 kg equals to 1000 gram plus 15 gram 
total 1015 gram so this is the correct answer clear next is smaller unit to bigger unit to change from the smaller unit to bigger unit we will divide first is milligram to gram for that we will divide by 1000 so 14000 milligram equals to 14 gram next is gram to kilogram for that we will divide by 1000 so 15000 gram equals to 15 kilogram clear next is practice corner 12.2 Change the following into gram. 12 kilogram equals to jayega, as we know. 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram. So 12,000 gram. 12 into 1000 that is 12,000 gram. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is measurement of capacity. Milliliter, liter and kiloliter are the unit of capacity. We can compute the amount of liquid of a container by measuring its volume. We use standard unit to measure the volume of liquid. Kiloliter, liter are used to measure the large amount of liquid, whereas milliliter is used to measure the smaller amount of liquid. 1 kiloliter equals to 1000 liter and 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliter. Next is conversion of unit. Bigger unit to smaller unit. To change from the bigger unit to smaller unit, we will multiply. Here, kiloliter to liter. For that, we will multiply by 1000. So, 8 kiloliter equals to 8 into 1000, that is 8000 liter. Next is, liter to milliliter. For that, we will multiply by 1000. 6 liter equals to 6,000 6, milliliter. Next is smaller unit to bigger unit. To change smaller unit to bigger unit, we will divide. First is milliliter to liter. For that, we will divide by 1000. So, 42,000 milliliter equals to 42 liter. Next is liter to kiloliter. For that, we'll divide by 1000. So, 18,000 liter equals to 18 kiloliter. Clear? Next is practice corner 12.3. Convert into liter. 15 kiloliter equals to 15 into 1000, that is 15,000 liter. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is addition of measures. We will take an example at 20 meter 36 centimeter and 18 meter 25 centimeter. So, steps always add meter to meter and centimeter to centimeter. So, first add centimeter. So, here we will get 36 plus 25 that is 61 centimeter. So, we will write 61 under centimeter column. Now, add meters. 20 plus 18 that is 38 meter. So, write 38 here. So, answer is 38 meter 61 centimeter. Clear? So, this is how we will add. Next, subtraction of measures. Subtract 40 kilometer 125 meter from 80 kilometer 276 meter. So, first we will arrange the number like this. Write meter under meter column and kilometer under kilometer column. First subtract meter. So, 276 minus 125 that is 151 meter. Clear? So, write 151 under the meter column. Now, subtract kilometer. 80 minus 40 that is 40. Write 40 under kilometer column. So, answer is 40 kilometer 151 meter. Next is practice corner 12.4. Add the following 
So we have to add them. Start from milliliter. 5 plus 5, 10, 0, 1 carry over. 3 to 5 and 1, 6, 1, 9, 9, 18. So answer is 18 liter, 160 milliliter. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is word problems. Two vessel contain 3 liter 250 milliliter and 3 liter 450 milliliter of water. What is the total quantity of water? So total quantity that means we have to add water in first vessel and water in second vessel. We will add them together start from milliliter and then liter. So total quantity is 6 liter 700 milliliter. Clear? Next is practice corner 12.5. Solve the following word problem. Anvi bore 32 meter of red ribbon. She used 18 meter 75 centimeter in her dress. How much length of the ribbon is left? So, total length of ribbon is 32 meter. Out of that, out of that she has used 18 meter 75 centimeter so we'll subtract 5 2 so total ribbon left is 13 meter 25 centimeter clear so practice all the questions of this exercise next is aesthetic and art integration tina took dido and dulu for the four days trek they walked during the morning and the afternoon and rested in tents at night find the total distance they covered in the four day of tracking so total four days ka tracking tha they walked during morning and afternoon and rested in tent in night clear so we have to add them first day first morning five kilometer then four kilometer first day ka nine kilometer next second day four plus three that is seven kilometer Third day, 4 plus 6, 10 kilometer. And fourth day, 6 plus 5, 11. Kilometer. So here are some question we have to give their answer. Distance covered on first day. First day, 5 plus 4, that is equals to 9 kilometer. Clear? Next is multiple choice questions. Take the correct answers. 7.2 kilometer is equals to, as we know, 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meter. So, 1000 se multiply karenge. So, that is equals to 7200 meter. So C is the correct option. So, here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it.